breaking the wall of costly desalination. Fatima Ulmakbali, Falling Walls Lab, Oman. One of the biggest challenges in the world right now is providing affordable drinking water for a human. I believe we all know about the shortage of fresh water in the earth. Less than 1% of water is accessible for usage and 97% is seawater. So the only possible option for water production is desalination. There are different technologies for desalination which all are energy consuming. RO is the commonly used in the world due to its low energy consumption, but still the energy consumption in RO is high. As a real example, let's look at Electricity Bill of Majis as a desalination company in Oman. Just imagine the energy cost for all desalination in the country. Moreover, brine as a side product in RO is discharged to the ocean and imposes ecological issue for living species in the ocean. Our solution is using microbial desalination cell, which use microorganisms to generate electricity from wastewater and use it for desalination. So, no energy is required while even the wastewater is treated. These are the reactors that we fabricated and developed. Based on the result, we found the best design for desalination is a combination of MDC and RO. However, before commercialization, simulation for this new design is required. So we use industrial international software, which is WAVE, and simulate the desalination with and without MDC. As you can see, when MDC is used, the salinity of seawater decreases to brackish water and then completely desalinated in RO with far low energy consumption. These are the results of simulation with and without MDC. As you can see, other benefits associated with these two scenarios are RO alone and RO MDC integrated system, such as the impact on high pressure pump, energy, electricity cost, and the type of membrane. I summarize the important advantage of this system, which can reduce the capital expense to 30%, reduce operating expense by reduce electricity cost, and reduce greenhouse gas emission to 80%. Just imagine saving 80% of electricity bill in desalination plant and how we can invest such saving in improving the technology to the next level and provide affordable drinking water for everyone. Thank you.